Welcome back to Terra by the Bay. I'm David. In my mental health <laughs> read for the week. <laughs> Actually, I just had it this morning. Um, in the mental health reading for the week, the second mental health reading for the week, George Santos. George Santos. Can you believe it? He lied about something. I really should have had you told you to, to sit down and grab some pearls to clutch. Apparently, um, he started uh, in September on a, uh, a reporter where he called her and you know, talked about the media slandering. And this is when all these charts are going by. So, you know, lie and deflect. And he was saying that um, everybody talks about that, but nobody talks about this incident where his five-year-old niece was kidnapped by two Chinese Communist Party members. And there's surveillance footage to prove it. And there's an active uh, police investigation going on. So the reporter, after having talked with him on s several instances on that, called the police and guess what? There wasn't any active investigation. And the official told the reporter, I'd lean into he made it up. So, you know, lie, deflect. How do you get out of these 33 charges that are against you? George Santos, what's up with that? Uh, he's caught with the money. He was caught with the money. <laughs> what was his stage name again? He's caught with the money. And things are happening quickly. The, especially the um, that latest uh, case with the, the woman who was like his, uh, his treasurer or something like that. Uh, basically saying how they took people's credit card numbers and ran up charges. Yeah. So th this is kind of like, you know, fraud and wire fraud. Uh, more stuff is coming, maybe coming up on this guy. Yeah, it's the end of the end of the road for him, and he knows it's the end of the road for him. He knows he's dead to rights. Past the world card, you know, his world had already come full closure before these latest charges came out. But this just, you know, sealed the death card and the world card. You know, or maybe this will in the past. You know, he got in. He he he's living in his fantasy world, and. Right now, um, the bill's coming due, and the Justice Department, they're not going to offer him anything. It's like, you know, you're this narcissistic person who, you know, you, you lie, you lie easily and often. This is kind of his personality, but it's going to be used against him, too, because the Justice Department's going to be ruthless with him. Yeah, he's crazy. He just... You know, he's been, and I'm sure if you looked at, if we found out about his childhood, he's been lying since he could, since he could talk. Um, he's stuck. He, he can't, he tries to create new lies to get out of old lies. And he can't keep track of all his old lies. He's stuck. He is absolutely trapped to things that he did in the past. The money he took, the lies he's told, and I don't know, maybe they're offering him a deal. Offering him a deal to plead guilty to and be done with it. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that he's looking at other ways to grift. Like, you know, okay, now that my career in politics is over, how do I get, how do I make my money going forward? Because they're going to take them. They're going to take a bunch of his money away. So he's already, I think he's already thinking about how he's going to, uh, um, get his next paycheck. Who's he going to rip off? <sighs> this man tires me. He bores me. He's so basic. In a weird way. Okay, four Carter. What's next for him? Real quick, Spirit, and then we'll call it a, a short video on this one. What's next for George Santos? A little more. What's next for George Santos? Okay. Come on down. The lovers, his agreements. Eh, maybe there's a deal to be made there. Fighting the squabbling, the naivety, you know, just making stuff up as you go along. Okay, so, oh wow, there's that money card again. Um, we're gonna find out about the agreements that he's made. Um, to swindle money, the people, the, the people he's conned, he's lied to. Um, 
all the stuff he does to cover it up. And But the truth is coming out on that one. So there's going to be more coming out on financial crimes that he's committed and the people he's ripped off in the process. Okay. What a joyous thing. And yet the Republicans won't get rid of him. Of course, if they get rid of him, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> they, they can't have, what, more than five votes without a House Speaker, and he makes it no more than four votes. But, you know, he wasn't going to vote for Scalise because Scalise didn't call him. So he's just going to be, a, he's basically going to be a pain in the butt. And he was even threatening politicians saying, you know, I know your dirty secrets and I'll air them all out. They need to get rid of him. But he's the Republicans' problem, not the Democrats. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Short one. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so this video gets out to new viewers. To those new viewers, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this video mildly interesting. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.